Is it okay if I sort of put it down here? What is this moth meme that everyone keeps sending me? Basically, the joke is that the moth is driven by obsession or addiction or love or something. It's sort of looking in the window and its eyes are really big and it looks a little scary. And we assume it's in love with the lamp. Yeah, it's like, hey man, you got any lamps? (laughs) Uh, Somebody posted this super close-up photo of a moth on the subreddit r slash creepy Uh, back in mid-July, and it's sort of been a slow build, and the past couple weeks it's gotten really popular. Is that the case with moths? Do they just love lamp? Do they love light? Um, Yeah, so that's really interesting. So for the most part, moths are nocturnal. They, you know, feed during the night. They hide during the day, more or less. You know, a lot of moths are brown, tree patterns. They hide. They're camouflaged. Uh Uh-huh. They come out at night. So one of the theories is that they use this behavior called transverse orientation to navigate. So it's like the moon is up here. Okay. And as long as they're flying with the moon at a fixed point in reference to them, they know they're going in the same direction. They're not flying in circles. They're not veering off. So it'd be like, you know, like sailors navigating by the stars. Okay. Got it. And uh, the idea is that with artificial lights, so Mm -hmm. a moth flies by a light bulb, all of a sudden they need to adjust their orientation because it used to be here and now it's back here. So, like, they fly by it. So if they're trying to stay at, like, a fixed distance from the light bulb, they end up just circling it instead of the moon, which is so far away that it doesn't really move when you're flying by it. Oh, so the moon is their main lamp, yeah. and it works for them because it's so far away yes. that it doesn't seem like it's moving. Right. So artificial lamps are just tricking these moths, but they love it anyway. Yeah, well, it's it's not clear if they love it, but they like are they're trying to adjust. They're like, oh, I messed up. The moon's over there now. And they just end up flying around it. Then they get tired and bump into it. It's but, like a bad drug. Yeah. But at the same time, there's like serious problems with this hypothesis because humans have built campfires for probably like a million years, by some estimates, one and a half million years. And like moths have been around for a long time odds are this behavior would have died off if all the moths were always flying into fires because like moths fly into fires as well uh so another idea is that the moths actually want to have sex with the lamps what yeah so um in this 1977 paper written by uh usda entomologist philip callahan in the journal applied optics He suggested that the infrared radiation coming off of lamps and off of uh, flames Mm -hmm. had the same spectral emission properties as as a female moth's sex hormones, sex pheromones. Okay. Which sort of glow in infrared light. So, like, the idea was that they see it as they're seeing the sex pheromones. and. In perhaps the most grim quote I've ever read in a paper, he said, the male moth is highly attracted to and dies attempting to mate with the candle flame. That's bleak. Very bleak. But again, it's like we don't really know what the moth is seeing. We don't know if it likes how the pheromones look or how they smell. If that hypothesis is true, then cities are just like... (laughs) A cornucopia of things to mate with. Yeah, the moths. That must suck. Yeah, for the lamps. For the lamps. And for the moths, I guess, because they're not actually getting laid like they think they will. Okay, I think I understand the basis (laughs) of this meme now. I don't think I understand why the meme is funny, but you know what? That's just me.